everybody. I'm going to be doing something a little bit different today. Something I've never done before. I'm going to be trying to smoke a turkey uh, using my King Griller by Char Griller. And in order to do that, I decided I was going to buy something. I bought a Maverick digital thermometer here. Um, normally, I just use a oven thermometer and, of course, the meat probe. But I decided to get a little bit more high tech and pick this thing up. I didn't want to get a uh, one that hooks onto the phone uh, just because I don't like to download stuff and have to keep um, updating and seeing notifications and whatever else. So I bought this one. This has a digital thermometer with a um, oven sensor and a meat sensor. And then it also has a uh, wireless so that way I can go inside the house, be out in the garden and keep an eye on the temperature. Uh, the problem with using these things is you got to open the lid on your barbecue every time you want to check your temperature. And if it goes down, it catch you off guard, and then all of a sudden you're trying to heat your meat back up to the uh, level that you want to get it to. So let's open this thing up and see what's in it. Oh, it comes with batteries even. Alright, so we got the sensor. The probes, a couple of probes here, batteries, and this is the remote that you, or the uh, receiving end that you bring inside. Comes with some instructions, and let's go ahead and put this thing together. Um, one of the things I'm going to be doing with my turkey since I've never done this before I did a little bit of research and I saw that you should use uh, olive oil for your uh, well, let's see hold on looking at this uh, you gotta use you should use olive oil to uh, put all over your turkey uh, that way the turkey stays nice and moist so what I have is I picked this up from a place called the olive branch and this is garlic infused extra virgin olive oil and I can't wait I've used this thing on eggs I've uh, seasoned my cast iron with it a couple times uh, before making some stuff so this is really great I'm gonna leave a link for uh, the company uh, down in the uh, links below and that way you can uh, take a look at it uh, another thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to use some Greek Mediterranean seasoning uh, to rub all over the outside of this along with I had to add some salt to this because it didn't have any salt So we're gonna see what happens and uh, hopefully I do not destroy my turkey uh, This thing looks really easy to put together One probe for the barbecue one probe for the meat and I got to put some batteries in it of course So let's go ahead and do that Uh, I got it together, it has a high-low setting, um, that way it'll alarm if it gets too hot, alarm if it gets too low, and uh, I'm just about ready to start cooking, just got to get some stuff together and I'll bring it back in. Uh, remember, this is not a video on how to cook a turkey, because I might mess it up. It's a video on the Maverick uh, thermometer. Alright, it's time to cook. All right, so I just got my fire going here, and the meter is working pretty good. I don't have my meat thermometer in yet, and it's pretty quick in keeping it up. If I close this, of course, all the heat will move into the rest of the uh, uh, King Griller here. So, so far, so good. I have it, the meter placed right here. And then I have a oven thermometer right next to it so I can see how it's working. So you can see the differences in the thermometers. Uh, here's the uh, barbecue's thermometer. It says 180 degrees. The digital thermometer inside says 146. And then my old oven thermometer is still showing about 140. 
So we'll see how it goes in a little bit. All right, well, it's been about an hour. Uh, meat temperature is 105, and the inside temperature's gone down to about 230 degrees. The thermometer here is showing about 200 and looks like 260 degrees. So let's open it up, see what it looks like inside, and uh, add some more uh, charcoal to the uh, fire. And let's see what this temperature thermometer is reading. About the same, about 240. So pretty close. I moved the uh, I moved the turkey up a little bit just so I could make sure I got it all nice and crispy on the outside here. Looking good. I'm going to be moving it moving it back. So I was inside. My high temperature alarm went off, uh, probably because I just recently. Uh, restoke the fire so I'm gonna go ahead and shut that off go in make sure I'm not destroying anything in here turkey's looking good still and it's dripping I'm gonna spin the turkey around really quick while I got this open now even though this thing's a little bit of a pain in the butt to use I have it set as 145 uh, for my low temperature, so if it starts getting too cool, uh, the barbecue will alarm, or actually the sensor will alarm, and my high temperature is 350, because I don't want it to be 400 degrees in there while I'm trying to cook stuff. So right now, 246, I went ahead and closed the damper down to slow down the heat. And we're at 125 degrees with about an hour and a half in on the uh, turkey. So just let it smoke there for a little bit and see what happens. All right, well, it's at about 167 degrees. Been steady uh, there for about 10, 15 minutes. Oh, just hit 168. All righty. And 241 on the inside. So it's time to take it out. And the button popped on it. Let's get a quick reading on this. Mm, that looks juicy too. Oven thermometer is doing good. Ooh, hot, hot, hot. Get rid of that. It's up there about the same. So we're all set. I'm going to pull this thing out. Yep, there goes the alarm. Shut off the alarm. Well, that's weird. I just pulled out the thermometer gauge and uh, well, I don't know what to do with this thing. Put the thermometer back in. I don't know. probes. I cannot turn this off. Well, had to pull the batteries out. Well, that's just weird. Had to pull the batteries out just to uh, get it to stop uh, beeping on me. So, I don't know. Go ahead and turn them off. Yeah, power off. 
but I'm going to go eat some turkey. All right, so what do I think? Well, let's start off with my turkey first. Uh, turkey was okay. I'd never smoked before, never smoked a turkey before in my uh, smoker, so that was something different. I did uh, make the meat a little bit tough on the outside, so about that far in, it was a little bit tough, and that's my own fault. Um, maybe I should have uh, basted it more or uh, put some foil over the top of it. Uh, done something different. Uh, leave me a comment if you know how to make the outside of your turkey meat uh, not toughen up uh, when you're uh, doing a smoker on it. But uh, it tasted awesome. And it tasted awesome only because of the Olive Branch uh, roasted garlic infused extra virgin uh, olive oil here. This stuff is awesome. Now, the Olive Branch is not paying me for this, but they just have some awesome products, so I wanted to make sure to throw a shout out to them. Uh, they come down to my farmer's market, and they sell their uh, olive oil there, a whole bunch of different varieties. Uh, this one I like pretty good is a Zesty Lemon White uh, Balsamic. Probably pronounce that wrong, because I can't pronounce stuff very good. But uh, these are some awesome olive oils. So they come down to the farmer's market and sell these. Uh, they have a website, uh, put it on the descriptions below, but, oh, I can just drink this thing uh, solid, you know, just drink it from here, but I know that's not very good for you. I do love garlic. All right, actually, for this Maverick, so, it worked. That's all I can say. Um, the temperatures were, you know, keeping in touch with the little, uh, oven thermometer that I had in there for the inside. I do like it has a little clamp that goes on to the uh, uh, barbecue grills itself. Um, let me know when my heat was uh, starting to go down and I needed to uh, put in some more uh, uh, charcoal into it. The probe uh, worked okay. Um, it told me that my meat just wasn't getting hot fast enough. I had to move my turkey a little bit. That's probably why it caused it to uh, get some uh, hardness on the outside, a uh, quarter inch or so. Uh, the digital thermometer all over the house. Um, it was giving me the sensor of both uh, the heat inside the uh, barbecue and the turkey. Um, the alarm went off quite a bit. Uh, that sort of a uh, thumbs down for me because I'm opening this thing up to you know move the turkey um, or I opened it up to uh, you know stoke some of the barbecues and it dropped the temperature down below the scent temperature and you could hear it in the video beep 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 uh, the one thing that really got me was a steady tone I don't know why I don't know why the steady tone was going off I looked in the instructions couldn't figure it out had to pop out the batteries um, I was looking at the reviews from the uh, company and in order to get the a lot of people didn't know how to get the batteries out of this in the first place so they had to go to YouTube to find out but you have to pop this piece up and then it comes out it's a really weird battery thing it did come with batteries though so pop that back down um, yeah, I don't think I'd spend forty dollars on this again. So if this one breaks, I'm not buying the same one. I'll buy something else. Um, it's better, you know. I didn't want a Bluetooth uh, Bluetooth one that are actually cheaper on Amazon. But for the most part, this worked. Would I recommend it to you? Probably not. I'd say go check out a different one first before you buy the uh, Maverick. And. Uh, that's about it. Hopefully, it saved you some money if you decided to go and buy one, or if you're looking to shop to buy one of these things. Um, look someplace else first, because I just don't really recommend this one. The instructions are very hard to read, and it was very hard to program. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give me a big thumbs up. Push that subscribe button. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.